These patterns are commonly referred to as boogie woogie patterns and um, they go all the way back into the early roots of rock and roll right up to modern blues today. Uh, there's infinite number of variations that you can do. So uh, let's take a look at the one that I was just playing there. First of all, you have this pattern over the E chord going. So first thing to notice, it has that shuffle feel, that rhythm sustained throughout the riff. So that's really it. So we have zero to four, and then four to two, like this. From there, I'm stretching out and climbing down five, four, two on the A string. And downloading the tab, printing it out will help you as well to follow along with this lesson. Just make it a bit clearer. From there, we can move that same pattern down onto the A string. So right there we have pretty much half of it. There's one place where it gets tricky and that's over the B chord. So for that we have to change our shape, we can't keep the same pattern. Starting on the second fret here on the A string. So that's a B note. From there, you're going up that major third interval to the first, that's a D sharp here on the first fret of the fourth string. Stretching up to the fourth fret. So the, the shape is like two, one, and four. And from there, it's climbing onto the G string that's the second fret, then the first fret, and then you use your fourth finger to catch this F sharp note back here. So I'll try it and play it really slowly. So that's the part that can be a little bit confusing um, because it breaks the pattern. So first of all, try and get all three um, patterns together. So you could spend a bit of time just jamming that with the backing track, for example. And then we go into the A section, which is just the same. the B chord into A and then we have this nice little turnaround so that's going 0 to 4 and then 4 to the open 5th string then to the 1st fret and then to the 2nd fret so it is a nice bit of chromaticism there so counting up on the low E string Four, five, six, seven. Once you're in place there, just form a B7. You can do any number of things there. So let's try and put it all together at a slower tempo this time than I was originally playing. We'll slow it down and to a nice practice tempo inside of the software. Thank you. 